Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me trying to do the weekly premium question. I don't know why it moves. For week three, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem or this week's problem. I'm still in Athens, very tired, walk so much. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for Athens. Waiting for this thing to load, so yeah. All right. It says, hard problem, 265 paint house, two. So there's a row of end houses. Each house can be painted with one of the K colors. Mm, excuse me. The cost of painting each house with a certain color is different. You have to paint all the houses such that no two adjacent houses have the same color. The cost of painting each house of a certain color is given. Okay, M times K. Okay, I mean... I was gonna say if uh, if the cost is constant per color, then we would basically be greedy and alternate, right? There's one or two ways to alternate, but because the the cost is variable per house, it's gonna be dynamic programming. Um, yeah, basically the state is going to be uh, let's see the current house and the last color that was painted and that's pretty much it right because you only need to do that right so okay because basically as long as the current house is not the same as the last house uh to color then it really doesn't matter what it is right so yeah so basically the way that we would construct is you know maybe some uh, naming the function is always bad for me so yeah and we want the suffix of the houses uh so we have we have, we have an index that represents the suffix of the house houses and then the, the last color right so maybe last color last c or something right and then basically if index is equal to n then we painted all the house and we're good so it, it causes it costs zero otherwise uh yeah then we basically just do a loop of all the colors so for c in wait maybe i did this one wrong that's why hang on do, 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 do. No, that, that one is right, but C is equal to length of cross of zero. Uh, so yeah, for range in range of C, uh, then if C is not equal to last C, then we can paint it this color. Otherwise, you have to use another color, right? That's basically the idea about this. Is, and in that sense, it's kind of proof for C. Um, and you'll be right, because that's commonly what happens a lot with uh, dynamic programming right it's just a way to uh, notice that your brute force has overlapping sub problems uh, meaning that you're brute forcing in a way such that uh, we want when we are able to we use results that we have calculated another time right so sorry uh yeah so we want to get min whoops oh in this case then yeah yeah okay now that's still fine but now the best is going to be some infinity value so uh, I always use 10 to 20. It actually overflows long, so definitely depend on your language, you know, do your best thing. But uh, you want to minimize best and then get min of index plus one because we don't paint it this color, right? And that's pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, zero and negative one, say, it doesn't really matter. Um, of course, this is going to time out because... Uh, and also I have the wrong answer because I forget to put in the color, the, the cost of the color. Uh, yeah, so cost of index and C, right? But uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, the, of course, we have to do the memorization part. Uh, yeah, basically it is noticing that index is going to from, go from 0 to N. And last C is a color, so it's going to be 0 to C. And... So the number of inputs is O of n times c, you know, hopefully that, that part makes sense. And, and each input takes O of c time, so total total time is O of n times c times c, which is n c squared. Yeah, n c squared. Um, I, I, I was wondering why that sounds familiar, and I was like, oh, e, e is equal to m c squared, this, you know, light mass ratio thing, or oh, not ratio, but uh, equivalence. But uh, yeah, so that's basically the... Uh, yeah, <clears throat> of course, total space in this case is O of n times c still. So yeah, uh, man, I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, I got a pack right after this. Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, but it's like a very 
relatively early flight so i have to kind of uh i like to pack before um before going to bed otherwise you know it gets chaotic when you try to pack in the morning in those situations for me anyway anyway uh yeah uh so yeah let's just find a cache because this needs some caching right so what, what are we doing here is n times c so yeah so we want uh Oh, sorry. Uh, time C for da, 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 right. Oops. How did that happen? And then cache is equal to none times C for da, 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 right. So yeah. So it has cache of index and last C, and of course, last C is not equal to negative one, which is really awkward to do. Maybe the, maybe I should do this in another way, but I feel like that still represents. Like in teaching, uh, I, I do get questioned as to why I do it the way that I do. I think it, it just, it's a little bit friendlier for a beginner to kind of figure it out. And also um, it's better for for interviews, to be honest, because you get used to using decorators like cash and stuff like this. Um, and then you don't, you don't even know how, well, not that you, you might, but, but some people do not uh, remember how to, like analyze it and stuff like that so at the end of the day the tool you know you're here to demonstrate your abilities uh, for interviews i mean anyway for 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 competitive stuff do whatever you want as long as it works uh if you want to demonstrate your knowledge then you know then this is needed anyway uh i am passing out so that's all i have for today let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye